Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about criminal defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. So I received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. It says right here, um, my 17-year-old daughter, together with two friends, are accused of assaulting a minor with a knife to take her bag and cell phone. Well, if that in fact took place, we're talking about a violation of Penal Code Section 212, which is a robbery, which is a felony that carries up to six years in uh, state prison. However, because your daughter is a minor, more likely she's not going to be charged as an adult, although the DA could theoretically do that, but more likely she's not going to be charged as an adult, and she may have to serve some time at a juvenile correction facility. Now, because this may have been planned out with three or, you know, two or three people, then there could be a potential... Uh, charge for a violation of pin code section 182 which is conspiracy which also carries up to three years um please be aware that this is also a strike offense this is also a strike offense and when somebody uh obtains a strike if they commit other crimes in the future specifically other felonies in the future that could result in an automatic prison sentence down the line when she's an adult uh, please be aware that uh this is a really serious thing and keep in mind that when it comes to robbery, when using force or fear to take somebody else's property, the value of the property is completely irrelevant. You know, you could be committing a robbery to steal 50 cents, you're still gonna be looking at a potential six years. That's different from doing a petty theft or grand theft. For instance, if you go into Target, you take something from there. Well, if it's valued under 50 bucks, that's usually an infraction. If it's between 50 and $950, that would be a misdemeanor, and above $950, that's a felony. Um, but that's uh, basically a petty theft or larceny, uh, using old uh, law school language. But uh, but when it comes to using force or fear, you know, give me that purse or I'll kill you. Give me that penny or I'll kill you. Doesn't matter the value of the property. That is a felony and it's a strike. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates. And feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need representation, give us a call for a free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of a rape and choking that took place allegedly five years ago. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers. DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers. Criminal attorney, criminal attorneys. DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.